Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today we've got Disney's first ever entry into the Criterion Collection to review. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today for this review. In this video, we're going to be looking at Wall-E on 4K Blu-ray, courtesy of the Criterion Collection. This is a huge release for the world of physical media, Disney fans, and Criterion fans specifically, because this is the first ever Disney Pixar title that has been released under the Criterion Collection label. And so we're going to look at the 4K Blu-ray here, cover the video, the audio, we'll talk everything packaging and special features, and compare this to the previous 4K Blu-ray that was standard released from Disney, as well as previous Blu-ray editions to give you an idea of whether or not this one's worth picking up for your collection. Now I do need to give a big thank you to HD Movie Source for sending this out to me. They support the channel every now and then and I really do appreciate that. They're a small family owned business out of North Carolina that focuses on physical media and you can check them out online. Now while their prices may be a little bit higher than probably what you'd expect from an Amazon or a Best Buy, the thing about them is that they will work with you. I have never received a package from them where the movie has been damaged. If you ask them for a box, if you ask them for extra padding, you tell them how you want your movie packaged and they will make sure it gets to you in one piece, which we know we can't say for Amazon, Best Buy, and some other retailers, I see all the damaged copies you guys get. So they're definitely someone to consider if you're buying some more, you know, limited editions. And if you do want to buy a couple of movies from them, three or more, give them a message. They'll help you out with a discount. So WALL-E is presented here on 4K Blu-ray by Disney, Pixar, and the Criterion Collection. Now they're using the same 4K transfer that was supervised by the director back for the original 4K release, but what they've done here is they've added HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision color grading, which were not previously available. The director, Andrew Stanton, was pretty heavily involved with this release as well, which you'll see in the special features when we get to that point, but this transfer was totally supervised by him, and you can tell. Now, if you put this head-to-head -head with the standard 4K edition that Disney put out a few years back, honestly, you'd be hard pressed to find a difference between the two. They're both on 66 gig discs. They both have very similar bit rates other than Dolby Vision HDR, which honestly in this case, I think maybe adds a tiny bit, but only if you're really diving in and like going frame by frame. This is pretty much as solid as the previous 4K Blu-ray was. If you're thinking, you know, that this was going to be a massive upgrade with Dolby Vision, it just really wasn't because the director was involved and I'm sure he didn't want to change, you know, much of the way that the movie looked. So while it adds that metadata in Dolby Vision, it doesn't really change the color grade. And honestly, I think if you put 10 screenshots up of Wally -E on 4K, uh, Disney and Wally -E on 4K Criterion and asked anybody in the world to pick the difference and see if they could name which or which, they'd probably go 50-50 because they really do look essentially identical. And as you're watching the movie, unless you're going to, you know, literally stop and zoom in on your TV, you're not going to see any differences. It's a highly detailed picture. The animation looks great. Even though it was animated at 2K, they did fully upscale this to 4K for that original 4K release. So it's highly detailed. Colors look amazing. It's a beautiful disc, but just don't expect much of a difference visually between this and the 4k disc that was already out there if that's the reason you're thinking to upgrade this one won't be worth upgrading for that reason now the same can be said for the audio on this release there's been some debate online you know whether or not this is a a different atmos track on the criterion than what was on the disney disc because you know disney and atmos they don't really do great mixes um, and it's not it's the same exact atmos mix so it's going to sound like the the previous 4k release it's going to be pretty identical to that. Um, it's going to have some issues in the lower end, which Disney tends to have with their Atmos tracks, but it really, you know, there's no discernible difference. And from everything I have read online, it is the exact same track. So there was no upgrade here. Now, it's not like it really needed one. Honestly, it's a movie that doesn't have dialogue, right? For a large portion of it. It, it is, you know, driven by the score, which sounds great, but there's not a ton of action here. This isn't Saving Private Ryan. You know, the Atmos track can add a little bit more to the sound, but it, it's it's not going to dramatically change things even compared to what, like, 
the 5.1 DTS HD track could do. So although you don't get an upgrade really visually and you don't get one on the audio side, um, that's okay because they're both already great and Criterion has at least maintained that greatness and maybe given us like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more with the Dolby Vision color grade, although I'm pretty convinced most people won't be able to tell the difference. So you're probably asking, well, why would I buy this disc from the Criterion Collection? If you already own the 4K disc, you wouldn't buy it for AV quality, but you would buy it for packaging and special features. The packaging here is very nice. It's got this cool digibook packaging with all new artwork, you know, totally different from anything we've seen. On the inside, you open this up and you have a nice little booklet, which is, I wanna say like 40 pages. Yep, just about 40 pages. It has uh, notes from the script, it has sketch drawings, it has an essay from the, the director. It, it's a really, really cool behind the scenes piece. And then on the inside, you're going to get some new artwork on the 4K disc, and then two Blu-ray discs, one with the uh, movie and one with the special features. So that is definitely an upgrade over what Disney gave you with their standard edition that you know Criterion takes this to the next level. And then if you look at special features, there are actually seven brand new special features on this Criterion release and director Andrew Stanton was heavily involved with a lot of them. So there's some commentary tracks, there's full length documentaries, there's a lot of stuff that came over from previous releases, but there's also seven new featurettes plus Andrew Stanton's uh, short film, student film uh, from like 1989, which is totally restored. Looks like it was is totally remastered for 4K. So that's included here as well as one other short film, uh, Bernie from uh, the previous disc. The only thing that's going to be missing is an animated short called Presto. That was on previous Blu-ray and 4K releases from Disney, but it did not make its way to Criterion, probably a licensing or rights issue. So that is going to be missing, but otherwise everything comes over plus seven new features. So really, other than the one missing short, this is by far the most complete definitive edition of Wall-E that you can own on physical media and probably the best version that you'll ever be able to own because I don't see us going much further than this in terms of AV and Criterion really has put together some great extras here. So that would be the reason to pick this up. Now there's other reasons you could, if you're a massive Criterion collection fan and you want to have this one in your collection or you're a Disney Pixar completionist and you want to have all the releases. Sure. This is not a bad release. It's great. It's excellent audio, excellent video and packaging and special features are off the charts. But if you have that existing 4k disc, and your main focus with collecting movies is the quality of the picture and the audio, then you don't need to go and drop $25 on this, even at 50% off. It'd be 35 if it wasn't 50% off. So it's gonna be you know, a fairly expensive disc, and it's not gonna be worth it for you if you're purely worried about AV quality. But if you love the Criterion Collection or Disney, if you love WALL-E in particular, this edition has the best packaging. It has all the special features. It has that great booklet with all kinds of behind the scenes notes and sketches. And it's going to be one that you definitely would want to own in that aspect. And if you're still sitting on the 1080p Blu-ray, I would highly recommend just jumping up to the Criterion Edition. If you don't own the other 4K, it makes sense to go right here because this is an awesome release. Now, if you do want to pick this up, I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing in my description. If you use that link, that helps support my channel, so I do appreciate that. But as always, the Criterion Collection, four times a year, you're going to have chances at 50% off, twice a year at Barnes & Noble for a month, and then usually twice or three times a year for 24 hours at Criterion.com. That's when I buy all my Criterion discs. So I would definitely recommend going that route. But if you want to own it right away, Amazon's going to have it for probably a better price than most places outside of 50% off sales. Now, once again, thank you to HD Movie Source for sending this out and allowing me to review this. I appreciate their support. Um, and they wanted to just say thank you to everybody in the physical media community too, because their business has been growing. Um, they've been growing their content. They've been doing some little reviews and, and you know more stuff like that on their Instagram pages and on their Reddit page. So um, they just wanted to thank you all. And I wanted to thank them for really supporting the channel throughout 2022. And uh, they wanted to say you know hopefully you guys all have a great holiday so thank you to them and thank you to you for watching make sure you're subscribed if you want more videos like this more 4k reviews and physical media content podcasts all that good stuff 
plus tons more coming to the channel in 2023. And as always, make sure you follow me on social media. All those links are in the description and links to our partners where you can support them, get some discounts and support me and the channel as well. So I appreciate that. But have a great rest of your day. Definitely check out Wally 4K on Criterion. This is a very cool release and I hope it gets us more from Disney and their catalog over to other boutique labels. If it sells well, it should, that should help. So thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there and I'll talk to you all soon.